Well, uh, don't mind the noise of Mass Ave behind me. I just uh, walking by here at uh, this is, I guess, Laura's sewing school. And I see these nice, really old uh, sewing uh, machines that caught my eye. Um, I don't know how old they are. Um, oh, it says about, ooh, um, I see some dates of 1901, 1900, maybe, maybe later, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, I thought it was an interesting kind of, you know, almost a steampunky look to these, but you know, that kind of almost Victorian look. Let's move along here. I wish I had better light to uh, get the, the, uh, the um, on these uh, machines. Oh, look at the designs on those, it's really nice. If you can see that figure in the center there, it looks like, um, like almost like a Roman woman warrior or something. I'll have to see if I can find out who that is or what that represents. The uh, it's almost Egyptian looking too. I don't know. And there's a one on the side also. Same figure, I believe. Kind of cool. This looks like a snake helmet coming off of her uh, forehead, or on her head. Simplicity, looks like a, uh, oh, kind of 20s or 30s look. 1933. Yeah, look Again, I, the light's not very good right now here, so... But that looks like it might be the oldest one. All right. Uh, hope you enjoy the look of the past and the machines of the past. I do. I can't get enough of it. Um, 